Welcome to MMA Dogs. My name is Hector, and this is my dog, Dan. Hey, guys. We want to thank you for tuning in. If you haven't already had a chance to do so, subscribe to our channel. That way you get an instant notification in your inbox letting you know that we uploaded the latest UFC prediction video for the next card with MMA betting strategy. Dan? Please check out our website also, MMADogs.com. That's M-M-A-D-A-W-G-S.com. There we have our proven track record, our betting strategy, and also other helpful links including our podcast which can be found on iTunes. Don't, Don't forget to subscribe. subscribe. UFC 159 heavyweights. We have Czech Congo going up against big country Roy Nelson. So first, let's take a look at Congo's last two fights. Most recently, he won a decision using his wrestling over Sean Jordan. And his fight before that, he got TKO'd by Mark Hunt. For Roy Nelson, most recently, he TKO'd Matt Mitrione. And his fight before that, he knocked out Pee Wee Herman. Now, an interesting fact about Congo is he started off as a stand-up guy with kickboxing and, you know, the kicks and punches. But now he's moved to a Czech Congo who's more of a wrestler, you know, more using his size and strength and, and, and you know, grinding out and, and not even necessarily having exciting takedowns or, or, you know, a GSP or a Rashad Evans kind of takedown, but rather, you know, more like a, Let's clinch up and go up against the fence, and I'll use my, my strength and, and, my, and my power to, to overwhelm me. So, ah, you know, that right there and alone, just, just you know. Um, now, one of the best fights that I've ever seen was when he fought Pat Barry. Yes, That was definitely. an incredible fight. Czech Congo, you know, pretty much, he was knocked out. Pretty out much knocked feet. out. Out, out on his feet. feet, yeah. And then he, he says, you know what, I'm not giving up yet. Throws a Hail Mary of a punch and knocks out Pat Barry. So... There, he displayed a chin. A chin enough, chin enough to survive and, and win the fight. So, you know, he's a tough guy. He's very, very tough. Not taking anything away from Czech Congo. Um, and then, uh, you know, like I was saying, sometimes he looks good. Sometimes he looks, you know, impressive. And then sometimes he looks like, oh, man, what's going on? Is he, is he a little bit of a flake? Or does he have some kind of personal, personal life involving, you know, his training? Like, what, what's, what's going on? You know, some, something's going on there. So... In my opinion, his his best game plan here in this fight, um, showing the skills that he's shown lately, which has been his wrestling, would be to wrestle Roy Nelson and be really conservative as far as you know leaving his limbs out there because you know Roy Nelson's an excellent grappler. So wrestle him, you know the same boring style we've seen. Now this this is for this is for uh, Czech Congo's benefit, not not for us as fans or or you know right now trying to predict the fight. This is just for Congo's best interest. So to, to, to clinch him up against the cage, maybe do a little bit of dirty boxing, some, you know, just, just a, a boring style of fight, but that's the way he could beat Roy Nelson. Um, Nelson only loses decisions. That's the only way he loses. He's been knocked out once by Andre Arlovsky. That was a, that was a long time ago. Um, and, you know, so like I said, he's got, uh, Nelson has a submission. So, so Congo, just, just overpower him, out muscle him, put him up against the cage. And that boring fight that neither neither my dog or I want to see, and I know you guys don't want to see it. So let's let's go for Roy Nelson here because uh, Roy Nelson. <coughs> Bless you, dog. Excuse me. Uh, thank you, Roy Nelson. Now, Roy Nelson displays a chin. This guy a beard, huh, dog? A <laughs> beard. beard. And chin. I mean, just a <laughs> chin of a beard of a beard of a chin. I mean, this guy he is got just so <laughs> tough and. Uh, on Twitter, I was uh, talking to uh, to one of our viewers, and we were talking about heavyweights. And I said how when I thought about a heavyweight that I can trust, I thought of Junior Dos Santos, Cain Velasquez, and the other only guy that came to mind was uh, is Roy Nelson. He's just so so durable, so reliable. Um, got that knockout power. So one fight that stands out in my mind is, uh, is Junior Dos Santos at UFC 117 at um, in. Uh, in, in the Bay Area, it was in Oakland. It was in Oakland at the, the Oracle Arena. Um, after the fight, I clearly remember. I clearly remember seeing Roy, ne- Roy Nelson come out. He came out um, outside, and uh, Jim Miller was there. A couple other people were there, and he looked like. I mean, honestly, dog, he looked like he really hadn't been in the fight. He had a couple <laughs> bruises, but the beating that Junior Dos Santos put on him was unbelievable, dog. I mean, this guy got just. Just rock like Verdum, like what Verdum did. Maybe not as bad as what Verdum did to him, but just rocked. 
and he just looked like normal and just, 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 you know, just, oh, what's up guys and everything like that. Um, and, uh, you know, like I said, he's got that knockout power, he just throws that Hail Mary, kind of like that Dan Henderson kind of punch, just throws it out there and, you know, trying to land it. And, uh, and he's an excellent grappler. So he's got really, really good submissions, just, just really top notch guy. And for his, for his best interest here, it would be to get the knockout, you know, it might be too early to tell if uh, if um, if Czech Congo's chin is, is going or if it's on its way out, but it doesn't matter regardless. Roy Nelson's best best interest here, everything considered, would be to, to try and land that knockout punch. You know, he's got 15 minutes to do it. I have a feeling he is going to do it, and uh, that would be his best game plan, I, I believe, in my opinion here. So I have Roy Nelson, all right, winning this fight via knockout. As far as the confidence goes, three stars. There were three stars on it. Um, the, the line isn't out yet, so I capped it myself. Uh, minus 185 would be a fair line. That would be, that would be you know, a, uh, a fair line, something that's worth betting on. Now, I have my suspicions that this fight will probably end up around minus 280, minus 300. It's going to end up to be one of those. And when it's a heavyweight fight, the only guys I trust with those kind of lines are Junior Santos and, and Cain Velasquez. But Roy Nelson is tinkering on the line there for me. So... Um, I like him though around minus 185, minus 200 on a, for a straight bet. For heavyweights, I really don't like the parlays. Um, so that's wh that's how I see this fight. I'm real interested in seeing what my dog Dan has to say about it. So Dan, what do you got for us? Yeah, dog, this fight, man. I, in my opinion, this is a pretty easy fight to uh, to predict. It's actually one of the uh, the only ones that I've actually really looked forward to for a while since since they announced the matchup because I'm just like, wow, this is, this looks great. So, anyways. We got Roy Nelson here, who just comes out there, and I mean, this guy has heart. If he's losing the fight, he's nonstop until the final bell. Yeah. And then you've got Chet Congo, who goes out there, and when he wins, looks overpowering, just completely just like a, like a monster of a man. Like, you, you, you almost can't even believe that he's human because of his physique as a heavyweight. But this guy comes in there and just, just, just wrestles, and, and both these guys have excellent excellent knockout power um you know check congo the chin hasn't really been there and roy nelson it has you know he his last uh, his last loss was to fabricio verdum and in that fight even he put fabricio verdum flat on his back early in that fight mm -hmm. and so he's basically got three knockouts you know in his in his last three fights he, he might have only got the uh, stoppage twice but in my opinion man Verdun was just right on his back. So, anyways, uh, that was actually that uh, that might have also been Verdun playing possum, but it is what it is. But the rest of that fight, he took so much punishment mm -hmm. from Fabricio Verdun that a lot of people think um, he actually won the fight because he was pressing pressing the action. He was he was coming forward a lot and everything, but he just took knee after knee after knee to the face of of Fabricio, or um, he took. Uh, Knee after knee to the to his face yeah. from Fabrizio Verdun, yeah. and um, you know, he, he, but he just does not quit when no, he's when he's down. No stop. So in this fight, I see this going one of two ways. I see Czech Congo actually showing up, surviving the first round, and winning a decision with mm -hmm. his wrestling. Yep. Or he could knock out Roy Nelson, mm -hmm. but I think Roy Nelson has a better chance to knock him out, yeah. considering his chin is more in question. So I think that um, Roy Nelson is actually going to get the knockout in this one. He's going to probably do it early. Could be could be late. He, he TKO'd Mirko Prokop pretty late, mm -hmm. so he's got he's definitely got that ability to do it later in the fight. But I think that um, that this fight will not go the distance, and I think it's a good bet for straight bet only. I, I don't really yeah. care what the odds are. Obviously, I don't want them something ridiculous like minus three hundred or more. I would say do not bet. Yeah. But to be honest, anything under that, I kind of I kind of like Roy Nelson for yeah. for the odds. It is heavyweights, so I can't five star. It. I don't think you can ever five star a heavyweight fight unless yeah. unless um, unless, see, you have, got, unless you have a lot of conviction, you have a yeah, lot of yeah. research behind it. No, it's a lot it's of really just, tough. Just analyzing and, the whole thing. And yeah, and, you, and I can't four star it because you know Roy Nelson isn't unbeatable, and Czech Congo is known to go out there and win decisions. Exactly. So yeah. that's why it's a three star only. Do not parlay. Straight bet, but I'm I'm looking for I'm looking for an excellent knockout on this one. And um, if Czech Congo is a is a big enough underdog, he might even be worth um, uh, betting on straight only. Also, 
But I would say for him, what, like plus 250 or more, if, if oh. you're into it at all. But but heavyweights, ridiculous odds are something to look out for. Yeah. It's a do not bet if you like the favorite, and it's and it's maybe you might want to put a straight a straight bet on, on the guy uh, that like, you're picking against because I, we've seen it plenty of times. Like, like we just saw at UFC 155. Yeah. We just saw uh, underdog, Bigfoot Silva. Bigfoot Silva take a take a beating from uh, from Kane. From uh, no no no. On uh, you're talking about 155. Yeah. So you're talking from, about from Kane in June. No, he's at 156. Oh, one, so so 156. Uh, we 156, saw. Yeah, that's we right. saw we saw a big underdog win in that fight. But you know when we look yeah, at one, when we look at this is a great example. When we look at Junior Dos Santos, Kane Velasquez, both of their fights, the underdog won. Yep. The favorite was Bigfoot Silver's Overeem to defend their title. Yeah. So that's that's why that's why something like that is is uh, to look out for for heavyweights. Yeah. So there you have it, folks. It's unanimous for Big Country Roy Nelson. So we have we both have my dog and I both have Roy Nelson winning this fight. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.